Ouais. What's up, guys? How are you guys? How are you guys? We waiting some few minutes in class. Ready guys, if you have some question, you can put your question um, on the icon, question, uh, at the end I will take like 10 or 15 minutes for answer every question if I have time, so yeah, you can, you can put some question here. Ça, t'as mieux la bouteille d'eau Ah, d'accord. Vas-y, je vais commencer, je vais 70 personnes. Ready? I think we can start. Yeah. 70 people. Maybe we can we can have 100. Let's go guys. You ready? Always yeah. Everybody is ready. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Let's start. Okay, I will show you a drill pop with some different angle, uh, some foundation, and what I told before, 15 minutes before the, the end, I will answer all the questions, guys. Don't worry. So, if you have some question, you can put on the icon. Easy. Okay, let's go.
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep, 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 keep. Let's go. Go through.
down, up, let's go, pop, pop. Thank you. 
The thing is with the Cobra you can play like you want, like when you get it, the foundation like when you get the original one, you can play with your pop like, okay, I want to pop here, pop, boom, boom, pop, 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 boom, pop, 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 you can play whatever you want. Just be sure to learn the reel first and understand how it's working every part of your body, like shoulder, chest, head, arm, hip, how to uh, make isolation with different parts and mix all together, you know? So, first, here, boom. okay. I do only shoulder. You see, one front, one back. This is back. This is front. Here, okay. Here, so I told them like, okay. Then chest, like rolling. Try to put your chest the most back you can here and most out you can like breathe in out and then you can feel your chest like this yes and then you join the shoulder here Yes, like this. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Keep going like this. Just follow me, guys. Start with the shoulder. to be focused on your isolation on different parts like chest, hip, shoulder, head, all together. You have to, to, to practice, to learn each part uh, separate first and then you try to like shoulder with chest and then chest with hip and then chest with head. So you have to do it. Guys, if you have some question, don't forget, you can ask me the question on the icon question. And in 10 minutes, I will answer. Okay, guys? So let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> 
shoulder, boom, only the head, you have to try to isolate, how to connect plucking, what is plucking, eh, so what is plucking, plucking, no, no, plucking, yes, yeah, you have to be focused on your different parts of body, like hip, chest, neck, shoulder. You know what I mean? I mean, when you move, you can play like, I dance like this, boom, I stop. I play only with my hip, like this, boom. I switch here, boom. This is only my, my hip, like here, boom. Head. You have to, to play with all the parts separate. This is the one that you bought a lot, huh? Yeah. Much love yeah. already. You can find it everywhere in the world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but in the Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Johnny White. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Guys, let's go. If you have some question, you can ask me. P locking dance, bro. Not Plucking. Ah, P locking. <laughs> what is. Ah, pop locking. You mean pop locking? I know locking, I know popping, but P locking, I don't know, bro. Sorry. How do you flow so well? Bro, I practice every day. Every day I practice, I try to find my, my flavor. More you practice, more you can find your style, or your flavor, you know, so your skills. That's it. I don't have secret, guys. Only practice. Only practice. Practice, practice. And find some different things. You get the foundation, you keep the real foundation, and when that, with that foundation you can play like you want. Just respect the foundation, and then you can be free. You know, because when I do cobra like this, okay, now I try to find my flame, my skis, my, my style. So I do this, or maybe I want to back down. Here. 
You know what I mean? Everybody can do it. Just be focused and just try, 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 try. Will this class be saved? Yeah, I think, I think yes. I think yes. I will ask for. I will ask for. It's kind of camembert. Okay, guys. I see we have a lot of questions, so wait. Okay. Uh, frérot, il faut juste que je change de position de téléphone, parce que je vais répondre aux questions là. Pourquoi Hein Non, je peux pas, là, je vois pas les questions qu'il y a. Il faut que je vais directement là, dans les questions euh, icônes. Wait. Yes. Perfect. Wesh, Léo Pop, bien ou quoi Ok, question. So. Favorite move. So, <laughs> favorite move. I I love, I love King Cobra. Uh, even waving, waving, snaking King Cobra. Yeah, I, I really love that because the first move I learned that I say before it's uh, waving. So, and my first inspiration was. Uh, popping taco with Pete in the breaking when I saw the movie and you know when I saw the, the cobra waving and the big pop was so crazy How to do you feel guys behind interaction to many people? Uh, I feel like honored because I know many people follow us and love us and support us and yeah we we just want to give the best for you guys you know for for learning practice uh, knowledge so guys uh, yeah just keep going we, we just give the love for you guys so thank you for being here guys thank you The biggest sacrifice you made as dancer hmm. you know um, I leave my family um, when I was 17 years old to to going to France to learn uh, popping um, you know and traveling so yeah it was so difficult but it was good for me you know because I was working hard so yes guys it was the, the biggest sacrifice about my family please uh, ask question only about popping on dance you know so I know you love so much dancer but we are here in my class for knowledge sharing popping so please guys respect that Your dance teacher name. Uh, <laughs> my first teacher, teacher, sorry, it was uh, Sally Sly, Sally Sly from France. He, yeah, 
he teach me everything about popping so yeah it's like my big brother you know even uh, even teacher in dance he is he still he is my big brother you know and my inspiration too Candyman, va chier, connard. C'est dégueu de la cousin. Sorry, Candyman is crazy, guys. Uh, good question. What is air pose? Air pose is using for look like uh, you breathe. Your body breathe when you dance. You know, like. Uh, you know, you dance, boom, you have some feeling like tiny, boom, and you cut your dance with the air pose to make some effect or taking some time to breathe. Like here, it's like. You, you don't have to pop. No, it's, it's like a bounce. You don't need to pop too much, guys. Yo, Brazil, in the place, what's up? <sighs> Some tips for new poppers. Yes, of course. Um, guys, just uh, practice arts. Um, learn your foundation, uh, your knowledge. Um, and be free you can you can do whatever you want just please respect the foundation the the culture you know so it really really important so yeah just respect the foundation and be focused and believe in you guys Did you dance with Stokos? Yes, of course. It's my big brother. He's he's a big man in popping, popping boogaloo. I, I like him. I like him style. Um, he he teach me some boogaloo. He have a good knowledge tips about boogaloo. He's really really dope dancer. He's like my big brother. Uh, Uh, let me find the question. Let me find, let me find. Uh, sorry guys, I have a lot of questions, but the question I have to find in the right way, you know. We talk about popping. Uh, how to level up musicality. So, for me, this is my feeling. Um, I think about musicality, it's better, it's, it's work with uh, feeling, you know, and uh, not like a robot dancer or Game Boy, you know, play Game Boy. I don't like who, uh, how do you say, recording all the music in, uh, on the mind and just, you know, dance like a robot or I know everything in the song. So you have to listen every style, the music. Sometimes I, I practice on R&B music. You know, your feeling is changing. Don't, don't uh, think about, I have to catch every beat. Just feel the music. You know, think about music. You have to feel it. Yes, guys. Mm -hmm. So, five minutes left and I have to leave. Because after me, in Red Bull BC1, we have a workshop with um, Lilu, guys. Don't miss it. Okay, so uh, let me see a question. Um, how much time you spend per day on practice? So, um, you know, every morning, maybe you see on the Red Bull story, Every morning at 8, I woke up and I go running like 30, 45 minutes. Then I go do my, my gym, a little bit 
jumping, push up, uh, from a six pack too, you know. So yeah, maybe all days, all days a week, just Sunday, Sunday is chilling, you know. You have to be, um, um, you have to take a rest, sorry, sometime. It's good for your body. So I practice like six day, five day, depends how I feel per day, five or six day, yeah. Uh, other question? <laughs> How to control muscle when in funky mode? What do you mean? Even funky mode or strong mode or whatever you want, you have to control your muscle because popping is very technical you know it's all about control sometimes it's good to leave control when dance but popping it's um, it's really really technical about control you know so you have to control every time your body your muscle you know so maybe you have to understand how is working your your muscle how to pop here how to pop here how to pop here here you have to you have to understand how is working every part you know what i mean and then keep the control yes. okay next question How to practice hips isolation? Oh, it's a good question, but in, in life, to explain in life is difficult. I, I will show you, but it's difficult, you know? You have to think about, uh, you know, when you have the circle, when you was kid playing like this, you know? So keep it the same, but small. Like this, here, here, here. You see my hands? Here, don't move your hands, just move your hip up, boom, and you control, up, boom, up, boom, other way, boom, ka. You can try this exercise, I do it this before, long time ago for practice my hip, it's good. Okay, last, last question guys, and then I have to leave, sorry guys. importance of cipher yes cipher is really really important guys because you know for me cipher is the best is the best way to uh, to to grow in dance because you are with many people and you just get down you exchange with people with different people different vibe different feeling so I think cypher, yes, is the best way to, to practice your pop and uh, grow with the popping, you know, because sometimes you can, you can meet some different people with different style or, you know, like tutting, like strutting, and maybe you, you don't practice a lot this style, but when you see in the cypher that guy, you're gonna think about, oh, I have to practice this because for my dance, it's, it's gonna be dope if I have some different style, you know, so... I think yes, yeah, cipher is mm, is very important, guys. Really, really. I miss I miss cipher in real with that situation. So yeah, keep it, keep it, guys. Keep it. So yeah, is the end of the workshop, guys. I wanna say thank you, everybody, to being here to the workshop of Papin C. It was good, intense. And just keep going, guys, and never give up, please. Okay? And believe in you, guys. Peace!
See you next time.